Hello, hello, singles and divorcees. Today I'm going to be reading passages from this book titled Out of My Heart, My Mouth Speaks. Poetry by Sandra Jo Murdoch. She's one of my lifelong friends and she's very sweet and very beautiful person on the inside and outside. This book is perfect for people who are going through a bad breakup or they're going through a divorce. This book goes from the different phases of, you know, the turmoil or, uh, the despair when you're in a really bad relationship and then it progresses it shows like different obstacles in her life but just reading her poetry she doesn't really straight out say like what she's experienced but once you read some of the passages um, I'm sure that you can understand exactly what she's going through at that point in time in her life and then it, it at the end it gets better like um, she starts to experience um, a better understanding of herself, of relationships. She starts finding healthier and more uh, relationships that are, are just healthy and not as terrible as when you're dating, like in your teen age years, or your even sometimes when you're in your middle thirties or <laughs> crisis. So, all right, let me just jump in and read some of her passages. They're funny in some ways because we've all been there, like, at some point in time. Like, probably when you're younger, especially, when you're just dating these terrible people, and you're like, oh my god, why? So let me pick, let me read some of my favorite ones that I thought they were funny, and most of us can relate to, especially if you're going through a divorce. Lying lips. From the moment you touched me, I felt uneasy. Something's wrong. This is not where I belong. A strong sensation took over me, one that I could not get out of my mind. Then it all began to unwind, and it couldn't be prolonged. I was feeling uneasy. My stomach felt queasy, but my gut knew <laughs> you were sleazy. <laughs> Lady, how many, how many times have you experienced so sleazy, dude? You thought it was nice and cool at the beginning, and then like once you start talking to him, you're like, ugh, what? you're just nasty. <laughs> that's, that's that's pretty much sounds like some of the guys that you that are on the street or in the club trying to get at you. Line lips. Now that was funny. Let me read another one to you. One sided. One sided love always ends in anguish, misery, and despair. He's always missing in action. Now how? no matter how much you need him. He is never there. Oh my God, that sounds like someone to know, baby daddy. Um, when someone loves you, they do their part and they value your heart. So it's one-sided. How many of you guys have had a one-sided relationship? I'm sure even the fellows can identify with that. Reflection. Looking in the mirror, I see cracks. So many cracks in the mirror where love should have been dearer. Love and hate become clearer. Love is fragile as we become near. The shatter makes you bitter, and love no one wants to be a quitter. Love is beautiful and never wants to be broken, but so many words unspoken. Your love is killing me, I'm choking. I left myself wide open, had no clue you would crack me, because all you really wanted was to sack me. <laughs> She's so straight up. And now you just want to smack me. Ooh. I won't let you ever jack me. See, she's taking back her power. I can look into the mirror and see it's cracking. So now I'm out. I'm packing. You go, girl. You don't have to put up with that shit from no one. Here's another one. Not the one. See? She's getting stronger <laughs> as time goes on. All right, not the one. Smoking gun, you're not the one. You had your fun. It's time for me to run. I took a risk and gave you a chance. Believed in the hope of love, maturity, and romance. But it wasn't long. Red flag beaming, and now it's screaming, run, girl, run. He's not the one. <laughs> Doesn't that sound like some of our sister girlfriends talking to us, like when we're telling them about a jacked up boyfriend or something? And they tell you, yeah. He's not the one for you. Yeah, so that's a good one. Yeah. Share. Let's see. Share. Oops. 
We have never felt so deep. It's so profound, immeasurable, and unfathomable. It melts and molds us. It loves and holds us. When we're bad, it breaks and scolds us. It's lasting and blasting, being so in love, like a dream seems so real. It can't be explained. It can't be bottled. It's free, indescribable. Love stay and never run away. Some say it's infatuation. That makes us feel this way. But I say it's love that makes my heart want to stay without hesitation and with so much adoration. I know you're my destination. See, now you're starting to see her change. Just painting. I enjoy painting. How many of you guys like to paint? All right, so. Painting my life as a work of art, so imperfect, incomplete, lacking, unrefined in many ways. My picture is a mixture of life that's unfinished and that makes my painting richer with each passing day. I will paint all the missing pieces back where they belong as I strive to fix her, never allowing others to make me vengeful and stark raving mind mad because I stay in the scripture as a real painting fixture and keeps me off the liquor <laughs> let me read that last part back again because I messed up I will paint all the missing pieces back where they belong as I strive to fix her never allowing others to make me vengeful and stark raving mad because I stay in the scripture okay she's talking about the scripture then it says it's a real painting fixture and keeps me off the liquor I know it's a hard road to pick between the liquor or the scripture, <laughs> but at least she's honest about it. So that's helping her to adjust and to move on. There are so many different poems in here that I could identify with and I'm sure a lot of my viewers and followers can identify with because we've all went through these different stages like I mentioned in the beginning like heartbreak then we find love again new relationships building together so I think this is a good book to reflect on and it's actually uh, it's a good one to laugh at too because you know if you can't laugh at past relationships or your past hurt You'll just be miserable for the rest of your life. Sometimes you just gotta laugh at the past situations so that you can go forward in life. Let's see. Dream lover. And we'll stop right here. From here. Where from here only new frontiers. No more fear. Love makes them all disappear. Nothing will tear us apart as long as we love from the depths of our heart. But yeah, I think there's so many funny poems in here. And another great thing about this book at the end, you know, it's therapeutic. There's a lot of drawings that you could color in with pencils or crayons. It's a good way to get your mind off of things that are heavy on your heart. So even though it starts off like, oh God, like all these ba bad feelings about a terrible partner, I mean, it gets better. So I recommend it. It's on Amazon. Out of my heart, my mouth speaks. Poetry by Sandra Jo Murdoch. I give her a thumbs up, high five, because she sat down and wrote exactly what was on her mind and she took that pain and she's making money out of it and she's helping other people too so check it out give her some love and some support thank you guys for watching see you next time ciao